George Balanchine had first earned his fame as a choreographer for Diaghilev's Ballet Russe. Now, as ballet master for de Basil and Blum, he was about to fill the company's ranks in an unexpected way. It was January, and the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo assembled for the very first time. The company had only four months to prepare for its grand debut. As ballet master, Balanchine had a risky plan. Out of all the dancers, he chose three of the little Russian girls to be the company's stars. They would carry a responsibility far beyond their years. The two youngest were not yet 13. They all still traveled with their mothers. And yet, to a large degree, the success of the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo rested upon the shoulders of these three unknown girls. night, the critics proclaimed, ballet exists again, and declared the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo the authentic heir to the Diaghilev tradition. From this moment on, the Russian girls were stars, and the press crowned them the baby ballerinas. Yes, they were the baby ballerinas, as they called them. Well, they were incorrect there because who was the first ever baby ballerina? But I never said anything, you see. <laughs> 